Hey ballerinas, Veronica here, your number one resource for ballet injury prevention and strength training. Today I'm gonna help you guys with getting your pirouettes better by making you have a better spot. So to spot, dancers have to be able to freely and openly move their necks. If we have any restrictions in our cervical spine or our neck, we're not gonna be able to rotate fast enough to get around. So a lot of times because of stress, we end up creating compensation. So today I'm gonna teach you guys some stretches that will open up your neck and help you get more effective spotting mechanics. And remember dancers, this is not medical advice and if it causes pain, please stop. So our cervical spine has a lordotic curve and we want to be able to maintain that to have a healthy position of our spine. So this first exercise is called chin tucks. And this is really easy and it can be done even if you're lying down in your bed. Now if you're somebody who gets headaches that occur in the back of your neck, at the base of your skull, this might actually be helpful for you. So first you're gonna roll up a towel, place it behind your neck, and sit with your back against the wall. You're gonna keep your head at chin level, and you're gonna pull your chin in towards the wall. You wanna press the head against the wall while keeping the towel in place, and hold for 30 seconds. The next muscle that's commonly tightened dancers is the sternocleidomastoid, or SCM for short. So you're gonna put your hand behind your back on the side you wanna stretch first. Chin tuck back, side bend away from the muscle that you're stretching, and then rotate and look up towards the same muscle that you're stretching. You should feel this right down through here. Hold for about 30 seconds, slowly rotate your head back down, then come to center, and then release the shoulder. So you always wanna release the stretch very slow and go back through the segments when you're stretching the neck so that you don't hurt yourself. Some of my dancers, when I lead them through these stretches, they're like, wow, I cannot believe how tight my neck is. I have never stretched like that before. Well, if you've never stretched like that before, that's why your neck's tight. <laughs> The next one is upper trapezius. So the upper trapezius ends up getting tight and then we end up hiking our shoulders and we end up looking really stressed out even when we're not in ballet class. So put your one hand behind your back again, chin tuck, take your hand and incline the head. Should feel great. Hold for 30 seconds, slowly return back to center and switch to the opposite side. So this next muscle is the levator scap. So what you're gonna do for this one is you're gonna put your hand behind your back again, you're gonna chin tuck, you're going to turn your head and look down at your armpit. Then you're gonna take your hand and put it on the back of your head and just apply light pressure. Now, never force your neck in a stretch. And if you feel like you need more of a stretch for this one, take that hand that was behind your back and put it over your head. This next stretch is for your scalenes. So you're gonna hold on to the bar at the bottom or you can sit on a chair and hold on to the bottom of a chair if you'd like. So once you've got whatever you're holding on to, whether it's a chair or your bar, you're gonna place one hand on the clavicle, so the collarbone right here of the side that you wanna stretch. When you're stretching, make sure this doesn't move. So you're gonna try to just hold it down in place and that's gonna allow you to really isolate the scalene. So first you're gonna chin tuck back, then you're gonna bend away from that side, keeping the collarbone down. The next thing you're gonna do, and you wanna do this slowly, if you're really tight, you're gonna turn your head. And back in. And then return to center and repeat on the other side. So now that you guys are feeling good and your neck's all stretched out and you've alleviated some of that tension in your upper body, let's talk about mechanics. So in case you guys didn't know, when you do a multiple turn, you always need to spot faster on the second turn. So the first spot's gonna go around a little slower than the second spot. So practicing the rhythm of a spot is very important so that you can get that down when you go for your pirouette. All right, dancers, so those are just a few of my spotting tips so that you can get more successful pirouettes. If you guys want access to all of my exercises for spotting, turnout, jumps, turns, leaps, everything that you can imagine, there are hundreds of exercises in my premium dancer package. 
Link is below. Remember to always subscribe, like, and share, and drop a comment below and tell me what you wanna see in the next video. See you in the next one.